Hi, good afternoon, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate uh, Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI Sportive. So Sportive being their top of the range model. Uh, this is a L1H1, so low roof, uh, short wheelbase model. Uh, as you can see, finished in black metallic uh, with a few additional extras such as nice expensive Rhino roof rack up there on the roof uh, and some additional security locking on your rear doors and sliding doors. Um, been out on lease to a fire and security company so it's not done um, any major hard work from a cosmetic point of view as maybe some builders vans might do. Uh, not casting aspersions at any builders that might be watching this video um, but uh, it's definitely had a um, an easier life than some. There's a couple of minor bits on it, uh, where I'll point those out to you as we go around so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So as I say, one keeper from new, it is covered just short of 63,000 miles. Uh, we've got a dent man uh, ding to do this side, you may or may not be able to see it at the moment but I will point it out as we go around. Uh, a, few stone, a few stone chips that have been touched in on it, um, histories are all good uh, with a local independent garage to the company that's run them um, and nicely racked out in the back as well. So uh, we shall start to give you an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Uh, I always tend to start up on the roofs as you can see. Uh, there is the expensive Rhino roof rack. If you don't want that on it, we can remove it for you. That's not a problem at all. Come down to your windscreen. Windscreen has no major stone chips on it. A couple of minor bits, but nothing major that's going to cause you any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which we will be putting 12 months MOT on this vehicle anyway. Down onto the bonnet. Now we've got uh, the various trees that we have around work at the moment are currently um, uh, pollinating, whatever you call it. So they're dropping stuff all over the vans so um, some of the white stuff that you see is just stuff off the trees but um, uh, yeah a few stone chips on the bonnet um, they have been touched in by a blind man to be fair so um, they are rather large now they tend to uh, stand out the closer you are to the vehicle from a distance you can't see them at all so um, not a major drama uh, we could look at polishing mop these back a little bit and getting them retouched in a lot better for you. But anyway, bonnet, yeah, not too bad really, to be frank with you. Coming down onto the grill, grill's all good. Classic headlight unit, no marks there, nice and secure unit. Passenger side front bumper corner, no major sc uh, scuffing um, or marks on it. Uh, passenger fog light unit is all good around to the front of the bumper all good driver's side bumper corner is all good with no scuffing fog light unit this side's all good and the headlamp unit this side is all good as well as you can see these have the led drl daytime running lights fitted to them passenger side front wing again all good nothing cosmetic to point out to you Passenger side front wheel, all good, genuine wheel trim on there, no damage on your wheel trim and you have a Cooper tyre on the front there. That has plenty of tyre tread depth left on it. Passenger wing mirror has some hedge rash on it, we will get the polishing mop on there, see if we can get it made it a lot better for you. Passenger side door glass is all good, passenger side door uh, all good. Passenger side door handle and lock are all fine. Uh, if we open up here, this is how you get into your fuel flap and there you see it's a Euro 6 van because there's your AdBlue filler. So we'll get that valeted up in there for you as well. Passenger side sliding door, all good. Uh, obviously sliding door handles all good. They're not, um, you know, they're not excessively scratched behind the handles have security lock over here and if we just get down low here you can see 
the lower seal and the protective strip along the bottom is all good. The passenger side rear wheel is good, hubcaps good, Cooper tyre on there as well, plenty of tyre tread depth on that Cooper tyre. The lower quarter is all good and the upper quarter again all good and then passenger side rear bumper corner is good fog light and reverse light units all good and the main light unit here again all good with no damage and if i just video down the side of the vehicle you can see no major dental dings to point out to you which is very straight and tidy Rear of the vehicle, top of your rear bumper, all good. The rear doors, obviously as you can see we've got rear barn doors on the back of this one. And there are no major cosmetic defects to point out to you. Straight and tidy, behind your rear handles, all good. We have additional security lock there as well so these are handy obviously it makes the vehicle more secure for you but also i think they're about 160 quid plus the vat supplied and fitted so quite a handy thing to have fitted uh, high level brake light up there is all good i'll open up your back doors now so you can have a look inside so these are nicely racked out in the back as you can see obviously this may or may not be of use to you uh, however, it is very handy. We have all the way through, so you can slide your ladders all the way through. You've got your hatch in the bulkhead there, which gives you additional load space through to the bottom of your front seats. Obviously, you've got a factory bulkhead as well. We have shelving on this side. And you can see with the ply, it's not been a hard job, has it? You know, it's not battered. It's not got paint spilled over it etc etc it's all it's all good back of your rear doors on the inside again ply lined paintwork on the inside of the rear doors yes there's marks on it but they're not battered and you know look like they've done a few rounds with Mike Tyson they've all uh, all pretty good to be fair and rear light unit on this side, which is your driver's side, is all good. The rear fog light and reverse lamp unit, this side's all good. And driver's side, rear bumper corner's all good. Driver's side, upper quarter, all good. Lower quarter's all good. Again, genuine hubcap this side. Again, we have a continental tyre on this side with the tyre looking like that. Um, as part of our PDI process, we do do a full, um, uh, you will get the measurement of all your tyres basically. Anything less than three millimetres will be replaced as part of the sale. Uh, now, mid quarter driver's side, it's all good apart from we have a dent man ding here, I think. Can you see something just going on there? It's, uh, I think they just caught the door and they caught it here just on the swage line. So it's nothing major, we'll get our dent man on it and get him to sort that out for you. But again, protective strip, seal, etc. This side's all good. Driver's side door's all good. Door glass is all good. Behind the door handles, again, no excessive wear. And the mirror case, mirror, etc. is all good. And then down onto your driver's side front wing, and that's all good as well. Uh, genuine hubcap on the driver's side with a Cooper tyre on this side as well and plenty of tyre trend depth on there and if we just look down the side profile of the van from this side you can just about pick up that ding on the mid quarter but as I say we'll get the dent man on that he should be able to sort that fairly easily and then opening up the vehicle driver's door card Inside your door cards, clean and tidy. Door cards itself, all good. Door step. Now, it's got uh, genuine uh, Vauxhall rubber mats fitted. They have got a hole in them. They've done the job. So the flooring underneath these rubber mats is, uh, is good because these have been fitted from new. 
Uh, pedal rippers are all good, seats, bolsters, etc. All good, clean and tidy. Seats themselves are all good. Headlining there on the roof, tidy and clean. Now we have electric windows, electric mirrors here. Volume and search controls for your stereo over here. We'll turn that volume down. Uh, headlamp, uh, sorry, dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers, electronic stability program, and parking sensors are here. Uh, cup holder up there. We have no warning lights on the dash other than to tell me that the door's open and the handbrake's on. Leather multifunction steering wheel, quite nicely appointed steering wheel. And you've got your cruise control controls on here. Lights are on your left hand stalk, your inner part of your stalk controls your fog lights, the outer one controls your main lights. And then right hand stalk here, up and down for your wipers. And the button on the end here will run you through your computer system on your dashboard. Um, any uh, warning messages will flash up there. And there we go. DAB stereo radio. We have air conditioning, etc. here, and six-speed manual gearbox. Eco button here is for your driving modes. You have an eco mode, and you also have your normal power mode. This button here is for you to turn your cruise control or speed limiter on, and we have cup holder over here as well. Power point here. We have USB power here, and we have another USB power at the back of the dash over there. Now, I'll go around the passenger side in order to show you the passenger side. The entry seals and plastics, etc., getting in and out that side, all good. And then I move our price board out of the way and broken price board and broken. Let's move all of this out of the way. Oh, it's all going pear shaped. Uh, right. So, move all of this out of the way. So, passenger seats. Clean and tidy. They always look dirtier in the photos than they do in real life. Um, in the photos, in the video, I should say. Uh, we can just get the wet back and run back over them. But essentially clean and tidy. Being a sporty, you've got your additional glove box at the top here. Another glove box here. Book packs in there and your locking wheel nut key for your spare wheel cages there as well. Flooring's all good. Door cards, etc. All clean and tidy. So there we go. Um, that is the van. We'll throw this stuff back inside. Oh, that's not the very professional part of the video, is it? Right, so what can I say? One keeper from new, 63,000 miles just short of. Good all-round condition, a couple of minor cosmetics that we can get sorted out for you. Obviously, we'll put it through fresh MOT. We'll have a 110-point PDI check, an electronic health check, so we link it up to our diagnostics. Just make sure there's nothing hidden in the background that's going to cause either of us any grief. 70-odd um, photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today, based in Worcester, in the centre of the country. And you can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the video. Any queries, feel free to get in touch. Cheers.